It has been a few years since I have reviewed Too Faced's Born This Way foundation. Now, when the brand first introduced the foundation to the market, they had 12 shades. It was June 2015 that they added six more. They had two for fair skin and light skin tones, and then they had four shades for the deep skin tones. I reviewed all four of the darker skin tone shades. With the addition of those six new shades, Too Faced's Born This Way foundation pretty much stayed at 18 total shades. That is until now. It's July 2018 and the brand has added in nine new additional shades to the darker end of their foundation lineup. Those nine shades were created by YouTube and social media star Jackie Ina. Jackie Ina is a licensed cosmetologist as well as a Los Angeles based makeup artist herself. She also was in the US Army. I had no idea that she actually served in the military. So thank you, Jackie, for your service as well as your sacrifice for our country. Now, Jackie decided to seek makeup as a full-time passion as well as a career back in 2009. So that's when she started to have her channel and grow a following. Not only did Jackie's career start to take off, but her YouTube channel as well, offering lots of makeup tips, makeup advice, as well as a spot for inspiration for black women and people of color. Jackie herself has already uploaded a few videos about the new shades, of course, how it came about, her partnership with uh, Too Faced, why she decided to uh, partner with them, a lot more uh, detail and information than I can offer. So definitely check out her videos there. And of course, she has more swatches on all of the shades. When I visited my local Sephora to swatch all of the nine shades, the inventory was pretty low. They were just bringing out some of the bottles so not everything is here. But let's take a look at what I was able to swatch. I want to go into the shade and the undertone to assist you. The first shade is Maple. I believe Maple is already part of their four initial shades that came out in 2015. See how Maple has an even mix of tone on my arm, meaning it's not showing up too warm, it's not showing up cool. It's not showing up gray as well. It has a nice even mix of a color and you can see that color there. That indicates to me that it's a neutral shade. Next shade down is Chai. Do you see how Chai is a darker version of Maple? However, it has a green tint to it. That green tint indicates to me that it is a golden undertone attached to chai, but it also would be good if you have olive in your skin as well. And chai is for warmer undertones. Right below chai is spiced rum. Now on the website for Sephora, and I believe for Too Faced, spiced rum is notated with a rosy undertone, which is confusing to me because I don't know if they mean pink or if they mean more red in it, but that's what the website states. See how Spice Rum pulls darker, but it also has a slight amount of what I would say golden to it because it has a slight amount of a green tint. It's not a greener tint like Chai has, but I see a small amount of it. What that would indicate to me is that it is leaning more towards the warm undertone. However, I do see yellow in Spice Rum. I actually see Spice Rum matching for those skin tones that fall in the NC range, let's say for MAC, versus the NW, which would be more of the pinker tones for MAC. That is just my professional opinion because it differs based on what is stated on the website. But that's what I see for Spice Rum not as golden, not as what I would say an olive tone, definitely a lot more yellow in it, almost kind of borderline being a warm and a neutral combined. It's a little bit off. To be honest, I think Spice Rum is kind of a funky shade, something I'm gonna have to really kind of study, but just from that initial swatch and really kind of looking at the photo, that is just my professional opinion. Below Spice Rum is Truffle. Now see how Truffle has that even mix again. It's a rich chocolate brown shade. 
there's nothing in it that I see where it was pulling gray. It was pulling too warm. It was pulling too cool. It's just a nice flat brown, a darker brown. That would indicate to me that truffle is a neutral base undertone. This is also a shade in which on the websites it states that is a golden undertone attached to it. This is again where I'm going to state my opinion will differ because of what I see. I don't consider truffle to be a golden shade, but again, that is just my professional opinion. I just wanna make sure you know that. Last is Tiramisu. Now this is a shade you might go, Ugh, I can't believe she described it as this, but I can't help it. I mean, I am a mom, right? But I do remember when he was a baby. This shade is that perfect baby poop shade, <laughs> that dark, baby poop it's got that brown with a little bit of yellow a little bit of a green tint to it it would indicate to me that tiramisu is a warmer it is a golden undertone to it can't help it call it as i see but that's the shade actually i love to put on my eyes i love to use a transition shade and it matches beautifully on the skin if you have olive in your skin. So tiramisu matches up also against what is stated on the website that is a golden undertone. Now the other shades again I don't have, they weren't there, I have not swatched them, but hopefully just seeing those shades I provided for you were able to help you. What shade was I matched to? The shade that matched me up the best and I received a sample is Chai. Chai is the one that just blended right into my skin disappeared like that as if it was made for me. Here's a demo of applying chai on day one. Like I mentioned in my videos, I do not have any primer on. I wanna see how it's going to react to my skin. I also need to know for Too Faced because Too Faced has the coconut water. I did find out that the water, the coconut type that's in Too Faced's product is actually made 95% from water. That must be why I don't have any type of an allergic reaction to it since I am allergic to coconut. I have to first do kind of a patch test, which is what I did with my sample, and I didn't have any type of a reaction on my skin, on my chest, nothing. So I felt comfortable to apply it to my skin. I would say the texture is medium thick, it's not runny, but it's not like a solid, like a matte type formula as well. Just blends into my skin. The tone I felt was perfect and it feels wet on my skin. It feels like there's just like water there as well. So of course, I was very pleased. I do agree with the claims for the foundation that it is a medium to full coverage foundation. I can build it up in those areas in which I feel I need additional coverage, which will be my hyperpigmentation down in this region, and it will cover that. When I use it with a corrector, I can actually 100% cover a dark mark. So I do agree with those claims. I also want to show you just another footage from a couple of days where I was then testing the foundation with just various different makeup. And same thing, no patchiness, no gathering in any type of dryness, no settling in smile lines. It, it looks fine. Evening check-in for Born This Way. And it's all intact, even the highlighter in 92 degree California heat. This is the highlighter. No foundation right here. If you do have a different skin type, that makes you feel like, oh, I'm not gonna like this hydration type of a foundation. Then here's just a couple tips I recommend for you. And at the end of the day, if it doesn't work out for you, it doesn't work out and it's okay because there's always gonna be some type of a foundation or formula that will work best for you. Your skin prep is going to be key if you have oily skin and you want to try this foundation. You're going to need to prep your skin well. So think of a mattifying primer or a mattifying product because it doesn't always have to be an actual labeled 
product that says primer. You might have a face cream or a skincare product, a skincare serum, something that really truly works, control the uh, uh, excuse me oil on your skin, and it produces already that mattified appearance that you like. So think about that, whatever's in your collection that you can use, and especially if it's about maybe blurring out your pores, whatever. Think about what you already have and go that route. If you are oily all over, that's something that you're gonna apply all over your skin. Or if you only have certain regions in which you are oily, then make sure you just apply it in those areas as well. Also think about how you are building up this foundation because if you are someone that likes to go heavy with your coverage, heavy with your foundation, you're also putting a lot of that onto your skin. So you might have a difference right there. So just again, something to keep in mind. Also I recommend, highly recommend, is a good oil control setting spray. Now you can do the setting sprays in which I recommend you kind of do like layers. So you can kind of use like what I do is my Smashbox primer water, kind of what well, I'm doing for hydration. But you know, you put on your little spray and then you can go in with your uh, first initial layer and you can kind of spray another layer and kind of go about that way, put on your products do your final seal and kind of keep it in check. In closing, I wanna talk about the shade Chai real quick because I've received a couple of emails from people that wanted to kind of get some shade recommendations. Which one should I pick? Because I can't, I don't live near Sephora, I can't get a sample and so forth. And so a lot of them were just saying, I probably should just get Chai, Chai, Chai. And so I would write back, why Chai? And a lot of people were like, oh, that's what Jackie wears. Oh, that's that's what seems to be selling the best. And so I thought, okay, but let's first look at what foundations you currently use or your color, you know, just trying to get some more information. So I wanted to put this in because one of my viewers that uh, stated she is in this shade in the CoverGirl True Blend Matte Made. I'm gonna actually just use her as an example so when she watches the video, hopefully you'll respond and uh, know that this is for you. She wears D50. So D50 is deep golden in CoverGirl. Again, this is just my opinion but I think Chai is kind of reaching over into the darker series as well we're talking bottles below me different shades definitely different shades than of foundations that I wear so whether Chai is stretching out into the darker region as well and touching all these different areas I wanted to show you Chai against the D50 and show you that there is a difference in the shade so let's look at it on my skin tone so here is chai and covergirl's d50 matched up so see how chai is going right in into my skin and covergirl's d50 is still showing up on the surface of my skin now d50 is darker of course than chai it is also a different undertone it is not i would say a close match to chai at all the D50 has a lot more yellow in it. This is going to be a shade I would see for skin tones. Here we go in the NC range, for example, with MAC. So I just wanted to show you that difference right there. It's really the undertone that you need to be looking at, your own body's undertone. I do have a video on how to uh, not only find your undertone, but a kind of a different trick. If you need additional assistance on how to find your undertone, you go that route. Make sure you go that route. That is what's gonna truly help you get into the right shades. If you don't, for some reason, fit into the, the New Dark series, that's fine. You can find another foundation from another brand. But that is what you're going to get on this channel. I'm going to help you find as close as a match as possible. And if you're comfortable with that, then that's what's important. So I just wanted to offer that additional advice for you. I'm going to get good use out of this foundation, not only for summer, but we're talking year round because it is so quick to put this on. I just put it on right now. For example, I just have it in this region here, just a little bit here, a little bit right there. I don't even have it from like this. No, I don't even have foundation on. I just put a light dusting of powder. Of course, I have my glow products on, but that's it. And it just covers what I need to and I'm done and it's budge proof. 
boom, take it off at night. I have never seen my camera's monitor have the little overheat button on there. It's, it's, it's that hot, it's that hot. So it's time for me to go and I'm gonna put the AC back on. If you need any help, leave comments and I'll be able to get back to you. Thank you very much for stopping by and watching everyone. I do appreciate it. Have a wonderful day. Stay cool if you're in the uh, heat wave. Have a wonderful evening. And as always, I'm gonna see you in the next video. I'm gonna turn on the fan right now. Goodbye everyone.